The next tissue salt we're going to talk about is sodium sulfate, or NAT salt. NAT salt is a water eliminator, and a deficiency of NAT salt will lead to an excess of water. NAT phos, which we discussed earlier, is a water distributor. And these two tissue salts work really well together. That salt is extremely effective at treating malarial fever as it helps remove the excess water from the blood, which is where the malarial parasite breeds. Super fascinating. Some deficiency symptoms of that salt are swollen hands and feet, itching skin, skin that has a greenish tinge to it, depression, suicidal feelings, and bad gas. Some conditions that may occur with a nut salt deficiency are spinal meningitis, diabetes, issues with the liver, gallbladder, intestines, bowels, photophobia, asthma, especially in children, yellowish discharges, and epilepsy after a head injury. There are some facial signs to look for in someone with a nut salt deficiency. The face will have a greenish yellow color to the skin, could have swollen under eye bags that extend to the borders of the cheeks, have a dark red nose, which a lot of people consider the alcoholic nose. Alcoholics actually tend to have a significant nat salt deficiency due to liver toxicity. So this is an important one to look for. The tongue could also have a greenish gray or a greenish brown coating on it, which indicates an excess of bile within the body. 